friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video I want to show my lens tilt technique for FECO of a soft cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome we can see that the cataract is quite soft the antechamber has been filled up with visco 2% SPMC has been injected and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and in this case only one side port has been made now capsulorexis a capsular tag is raised by the tip of the uterta forceps itself and the tag is rotated anticlockwise and a rexis of about six millimeter is obtained for the lens tilt technique we need to get a axis of about six millimeter and now see what happens during hydro dissection as I do hydro the lens tilts like this and now visco is injected both on both sides And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The needle faces the nuclear mass. The chopper supports the posterior surface of the cataractus lens. And here it is. This is the first cut, second cut, third and fourth. By four cuts on portion the supracapsular portion is removed now here it is this is crack cracking the rest of the nucleus and the front portion is emulsified and this is the other piece most of it is removed and now this is the last portion so in no time the nucleus epinucleus is out the tip of the FECO needle has always been at the iris plane and the, there has always been a gap between the endothelium and the lens mass. So it is a very safe technique. This technique is very safe for the posterior capsule and very safe for the corneal endothelium. Cornea remains crystal clear and the equator that rests on the posterior capsule actually protects the posterior capsule and thus this technique is very safe for managing soft cataracts cataracts with grade 1 or grade 2 or grade 2 plus can be managed in this way very easily and very safely cortical cleanup has been done with this 23G Simco cannula and now this is a little bit of lens fibers and they are removed and now in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and I'm going to use a bee cartridge to implant the lens. This is hydro polish. The irrigating probe is being used to polish the posterior capsule. The fluid jet dislodges any cells on the posterior capsule. And since I'm going to use a B cartridge, I'm going to enlarge the main wound a little bit just one cut and the size of the wound is about three millimeter now uh, here goes the hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens the lens has been placed in the capsular bag both the haptics are in the capsular bag the capsule is overlapping 
in some areas in some areas it is not overlapping it doesn't matter at all the haptics are in the bag the capsule will contract to some extent and over a period of four or five months the optic will be there will be a rim of anterior capsule covering overlapping the optic of the intraocular lens so the case is almost done this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please try this lens tilt technique in soft cataracts always keep the fake needle at the iris plane and there will be no corneal edema in the postoperative period thank you very much for your attention